morning's Health Watch. New hope for hundreds of thousands of epilepsy patients. It comes from a new state-of-the-art surgery. And medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to tell us more. Good to see you, Jen. Good morning, Rebecca. One in 10 Americans will suffer some kind of seizure in their lifetime, and one in 100 will have recurrent spontaneous seizures called epilepsy. But now, and instead of an invasive brain surgery, doctors at Texas Children's Hospital are using a new minimally invasive procedure that might offer a better treatment for epilepsy. For the first eight years of his life, Keegan Dysart was crippled with epileptic seizures. There was no telling when it was going to happen or where it was going to happen. Keegan's epilepsy was caused by a brain abnormality or lesion, where normal tissue appears in an unusual place. In this instance, on the hypothalamus, an area that produces hormones and affects emotion. For Keegan, that emotion was laughter. His seizures, seen here in home video, often appeared as fits of uncontrollable giggling. Because the only laughter Keegan had ever experienced was these elastic seizures. And Keegan was having two or three of the laughing seizures every hour, and he was having several of the bigger seizures with loss of awareness and loss of consciousness a day. Nearly three million Americans suffer from epilepsy. This includes more than 326,000 children under the age of 15. Unfortunately, we can only control seizures with medicine about 60% of the time. So that means that 40% of children and adults are going to continue to have seizures no matter which medicines we use. Medication wasn't working for Keegan, and his parents didn't want him to endure invasive brain surgery. So in March, doctors at Texas Children's Hospital suggested a new surgical procedure called the laser ablation technique. The laser ablation technique leaves the, the scalp and the skull essentially intact and it only requires a small drill hole in the skull. Surgeons insert a tiny probe into the skull and using a laser they heat up and destroy the lesion causing the epilepsy while leaving the rest of the brain intact. The procedure took just a few hours and Keegan was out of the hospital in five days. He's been seizure free since. The first time we'd ever heard him laugh. <sighs> Pretty incredible. Mommy and Daddy have a new child. <laughs> What an incredible turnaround for him. Unbelievable. Is this kind of procedure something that could work for everyone with epilepsy? It's not, Rebecca. And I spoke to Dr. Curry yesterday, and he told me that really 30 to 40 percent of epilepsy cases are due to an area in the brain where there's a localized abnormality or lesion. Those are the candidates for this type of procedure. It's not for seizures of unknown cause or where there's multiple areas in the brain. Is it expensive? How much does it cost? Actually, this procedure is about 25 to 30 percent less expensive than the open craniotomy procedure, largely because these patients, again, they're out of the hospital much shorter period of time. Other than a family history, what puts you at increased risk? A, a lot of things can put you at increased risk for seizure disorder, Rebecca. Anything from head injury or head trauma to brain infections like meningitis or encephalitis, stroke or dementia. We can even see this in newborn babies sometimes after birth. So again, very exciting work being done at Texas Children's. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, as always, thanks. You bet. Keep watching. This is the early show on CBS. We'll be right back. CBS Health Watch.